Hello, this is Eddie from AppSheet here to help you build a timesheet application directly from your own data sources like Google Sheets or Excel, all without a single line of code. So to get started, let's head over to AppSheet.com and check out our sample apps. So you can build an app from scratch or you can use one of our pre-built templates as a starting point. So here we can see the timesheet app. And the AppSheet website allows you to play around with the sample app on your browser. So we can do so right here. We'll take a closer look at everything in a second, but for now, let's just go copy and customize. All right, so one thing to note about the app that I've just created um, I'm signed into my personal eddie at appsheet.com account, which is linked to my Google Drive account. So this sample app is being auto-populated in my Google Drive as a Google Sheet. But if you were to do so likewise in Office 365 or some other platform like Smartsheet, um, the app would actually have its data automatically uh, created and inserted through that platform. So our users most commonly use Excel or Google Sheets as a starting point, but you can also use other cloud-based spreadsheets or databases as a starting point. So let's take a look at the app. So here we have our starting view of in, which represents kind of the three employees that are currently in um, working on the job. You can also see that we have a form you can fill out, which tells us uh, the name, what time they come in, time out, um, where employees can log their hours. And we also have a timesheet of uh, employees um, working hours over the past however many days. So something to note is that AppSheet apps are entirely customizable, which we'll get to in a second, um, based on the different views and data sources that you're using. So jumping over to the Data tab, you can see that we have two primary um, worksheets that this is based off of. So if we go here, we go View Source, we can see that all of the data in the spreadsheet in the app is just being populated from a simple Google Sheet that has already been created. So you can see that here we have all the employees with the employee name, the email, the start date, hourly wage, and an image for them. We could easily create other employees. We could create um, new column headers to represent different categories that we care about. For instance, if we cared about job title, we could add a job title column and start creating job titles for each person. Over on the timesheet side of things, we have employees recorded with time in, time outs, um, hourly wages, total wages, all that kind of stuff here. Likewise, we could change the first column to uh, include other data fields and have um, as many rows of data as Google Sheet can populate. Or if the app gets too big, we could transfer this over to a SQL server or other database that would allow us to have um, an even broader spectrum of data. So to see how this app is actually structured, let's hop back over to our data tab. And we can see here that these are our two data sources and we can see them over in columns. So over in columns, we see that timesheet spreadsheet represented in a different form. And you see that each of the columns is represented by a different type. So we could change the type to make sure that it lines up with what we're going for. So it could be a time, a image, uh, email, all that kind of stuff. So you can see that some of our columns have a preset formula that it's being used to generate what it's actually populating. Um, so that's over in here, and you can see that some of these formulas are being set up through different app logic, and we call these expressions, and these are largely modeled after common Excel and Google Sheet formulas. <clears throat> so if you're handy around a spreadsheet, then this should um, come pretty quickly. And so we can jump over to find the right expressions that we need and insert them accordingly. So we're just gonna leave these here for now. And if you're creating a simple timesheet app, you can just use the ones we have in place. Um, but if you want to modify and create your own different fields, you can feel free to do so over here. And there's a whole library of resources to help you learn expressions over at help.appsheet.com and our community forum. Over here, you can see that we have slices. So a slice is a subset of the broader data. So this in slice represents um, a subset of all the employees who are currently in right now because their, their timesheet is still their timesheet is still going. So all of our data can then be visualized over in the UX section. So you can see that here we have our clock in, in, and log primary views, and we also have a menu view. A menu view shows up when you click the hamburger menu and you see that employees shows up right there. 
So we can change any of these UX views in all, a number of ways. So for instance, with our, we are currently in the clock in, um, and that is a form. Let's actually shift over to a, our in. And right now we see that that is in a deck view. You know, if we had a lot of employees that were in, maybe we would want that in a table view. A table view would allow us to consolidate it and we could have more rows. Um, there's gallery views, detail views. There's also different views like charts and calendars that aren't applicable for, for what we're doing right now, but are totally functional. Um, so we can change how our data shows up. We can change how the data is sorted. We could arrange it by you know, hourly wage, um, division that they're working in. Um, we could display it in all different kinds of manners and have different icons that represent what we're going for. So these apps are largely customizable based on the kind of user experience that you want to create for your app users. We can also add custom branding at the top here. We could create different formatting rules. For instance, um, we could say for shifts that were over eight hours that involved overtime, we could flag it as red. And let's also jump over to the behavior tab to see some of the stuff that we can do here. So here we have a clock out tab. So this clock out functionality would allow us to obviously clock out when we want our employees to clock out. And so you can find that clock out functionality over in the uh, in view that we have. Um, you can see right now it's kind of buried. So we could actually change that appearance. And let's say that we want to have that display as an overlay. So now whenever Brian Sabino is ready to clock out, he can simply hit clock out and he is now clocked out and he would no longer be visible as someone who is in. Along with actions, we also have workflows. So maybe whoever is the manager on site, we would want them to be alerted through a text message or an app notification whenever an employee clocks in or out. Um, we could also set up a report here. So perhaps our accounting um, bookkeeper would be want to be notified every week or two weeks on the total hours of every employee and we could easily set that up here and over in app security we could also uh, create our own authentication um, using any of these common providers like Google Dropbox Office 365 Smartsheet Salesforce box um, and here we can specify how we want users to sign in and and there's all sorts of stuff we can do too with a, a pro plan involving things like security filters, which would allow certain views to be seen by certain people, but not by others. So once we finish formatting our app, we can head over to not deployed and run a deployment check on our app to make sure everything is good to go. And it looks like everything is good to go. And so we're gonna go ahead and move this app to a deployed state. And so what happens when you move the app to a deployed state is then you as the app creator will get an email um, with a link to install this app. And so from there, you can simply go into your email and install the app onto your phone. So there you have it. That in a nutshell is how you create a timesheet app using AppSheets platform and a common data source like Excel or Google Sheets. So if you wanna get started, again, just go ahead and head over to appsheet.com, check out our sample apps, search for a timesheet app, and start copying and playing around and make it your own.